Hi everyone and welcome to Fresh from my garden. It's been 2 weeks since my cauliflower heads had started forming and today it is time to harvest them and I have four cauliflowers here that I'm going to be harvesting today. And you might be wondering what this whitish yellow powder is on the cauliflower leaves and I have used diatomaceous earth on my cauliflowers since a few of them got infected with some worms and pests. So here's one cauliflower that I had to discard last week because of the pest infection and then I decided to sprinkle some diatomaceous earth around my vegetable garden to protect my other cauliflowers from getting damaged. So today I'm harvesting four of them. To harvest the cauliflower just pull it out of the ground and then you can break away the roots from the rest of the plant. Make sure to keep a few leaves around the cauliflower intact so that it remains fresh for at least 3-4 to four days after harvesting. So in addition to the cauliflowers that we are harvesting today we also have a few more on which the cauliflower heads are yet to form so that would be a harvest for another day so i'm kind of happy with the kind of formation on our cauliflowers that we have got and there is a right time to pick these cauliflowers otherwise they won't taste good and they would be inedible so when the cauliflower heads have formed together tightly and before they start to split up before the florets start to split up is when we need to harvest our cauliflowers. I have a couple of cauliflowers on which I have a little bit of infection but I'm going to harvest these today to see how much of the cauliflower can be salvaged. This one doesn't look like it has any major pest infection so probably I'll be able to use this but in addition to this I got another one in my vegetable patch very close to the one that I had to throw away this one has a lot of pest infection and it seems like it has got a lot of damage on it so I'm not sure if this can be used in spite of all the constant rain that we have been getting over the last 7 to 10 days this is a good harvest now in the patch where I was growing cauliflowers I had planted some turmeric earlier and since turmeric plants take from 35 to 40 days to germinate now that the cauliflowers are harvested they have enough room to grow so that will be the next crop that I am growing in that space and we also have a couple more cauliflowers that haven't formed heads cauliflower heads so those will be still a part of the garden and will be harvested later after harvesting these cauliflowers i'm going to wash them down completely and thoroughly so that i get rid of any of the diatomaceous earth and any soil that is remaining on the leaves and on the cauliflower head and other than the tiny bit of purplish part on the cauliflower where it probably got a little sunburnt this cauliflower looks really healthy and good and hopefully it tastes good too so if you do ever use any sort of pesticide or fungicide on any of your vegetable crops while they are growing make sure to wash them thoroughly and air dry them if you're going to store them for a longer period of time or if you're going to use them immediately it's okay to wash them and then just use them immediately but if it needs to be stored in the pantry for a couple of days or longer it needs to be air dried so that there is no moisture in the vegetables and so that they don't rot or go bad quickly to get rid of any of the worms that were in the cauliflower after harvesting just add them to some boiling water with turmeric and salt and strain them out after a couple of minutes which will get rid of any sort of 
bugs or pests that were inside the cauliflower head i really enjoyed harvesting these cauliflowers from our garden and i hope you liked this video and a couple of tips that i have shared in this video so if you haven't watched my other video on how to blanch cauliflowers to get a smooth white head without any sunburn please do go back to my channel and watch that video if you have been watching my channel regularly and haven't yet subscribed to my channel please support this channel by subscribing so that i can share more videos on gardening and garden tips hope you liked today's video please keep watching for more garden related videos thanks for watching fresh from my garden